Hey everybody, Ash here with Gent Sense. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going on to Wish.com. I'm going to place an order for a bunch of fragrances. Then once I get those in, I'm going to do an unboxing and we'll check those fragrances out and see how legit they are. In case you're unaware of what Wish.com is, it's a website that sells a huge amount of dubious goods, you could say. Uh, basically everything on there looks to be super cheap, uh, but there is a reason that it's super cheap and that's what we're going to be investigating today at least on the fragrance side of things. So I've got my PC pulled up here. Uh, let's go ahead and look through the website, see what we can find, maybe find some interesting stuff on here fragrance wise and uh, go ahead and place that order. Alright, so here's the, uh, the home page, the landing page, whatever you want to call it. Already there are a few fragrances on here, um, so let's go ahead and get to searching. Yeah, so just placing a search for cologne for men, this is what's pulling up. Uh, right away I can see uh, this Sauvage and the Creeds, for sure the Creeds. Creeds are some of the most copied fragrances, period, uh, knockoff wise. and. You know, for a 120 mil size of Creed, $22 is basically completely insane. What even is this? <laughs> oh my god. This is not what I was expecting when I searched cologne for men. I will not be buying that, but in case any of you are interested, there you go. You need happy spray. Look at this. It's a fragrance called Game of Thrones, and that is in what looks to be a knockoff Bentley bottle. So the Bentley fragrances for men. And it's Game of Thrones. Oh man, check this one out. <laughs> it is not Terre d'Hermes. It is not. It's Terre de Horse. Look at this. Wow, that is an abomination. Okay, so we have a Zara Wanted 100 mils for $19 so I think we're gonna go with this one I already know I'm gonna regret this but I'm gonna go with the Game of Thrones fragrance now the question is black or gold black or gold black now I've checked a couple of pages and these brown Sauvages are sold out and I have to get a brown Sauvage I'm gonna go ahead and add one of these blue Sauvages but I'm not overly interested about that. I need the brown Sauvage. Okay, so I have a lot of options for Sauvage here. Surely one of these is going to have the brown Sauvage. I have found the brown Sauvage. It's more expensive, but it's pretty much sold out at, at all of these stores or whatever, uh, sellers. So there we go, brown Sauvage. And let's wrap this up with some Creed. We've, we've got to get some Creed, I mean. You have to. And I think uh, Aventus is basically the only way to go, right? So there we go. We're going to be in the hole 131.20. All right, guys, we've jumped into the future a couple of weeks. All the fragrances have come in. So I'm going to open up each one of these and we're going to give them some sprays on a tester strip, see how these smell. Each one of these came in a different style of, uh, of package. So each one came from a different seller, it looks like. And basically, each one of these is just a uh, a pretty cheap kind of envelope, like a uh, plain envelope with no bubble wrap. But then I can feel that there's either foam or bubble wrap over the uh, the boxes themselves. So let's uh, rip into one. We'll do this one first. So there we go. That's the first one. What does that say? Wilderness Man. I don't remember ordering Wilderness Man, but uh, let's check it out. There it is, Wilderness Man. Um, I don't remember ordering Wilderness Man, but let's open it and see what it is. This this is great. Right away, you can tell the quality that you're dealing with here. O oh, in Eau de Toilette is misspelled on the front of the box. See it right there, Wilderness Man, Eau de Toilette, misspelled. That's a great start. Here's a close-up of the back of the box. Check that out, method of use. Will be perfume gush in the back of the wrist, neck, ears, elbow, inside of the arterial pulse position, such as can help odor. Also, not easy to sensitive. Matters needing attention. 
flammable items away from the fireworks, please placed in the shade, not to be exposed to the eyes, placed in a place out of the reach of children. Okay, so let's open this up and see what we're in for. This is the Sauvage bottle, only not Sauvage. Wilderness Man. If you remember when I bought this, it looked like Sauvage. It said Sauvage across the front, uh, but the bottle was brown. This one's got kind of an orange tint to it, and this bottle is scuffed to hell. This bottle is, it looks rough. So here it is, Wilderness Man by Vaeus. Now you can see, look at that. That is scuffed up. That's exactly how it came out of the box. It's got marks all over it. It probably looks worse in person than it's coming through right here. So yeah, check this one out. This one came out of the box really scuffed up. I mean, it's actually got parts where the, uh, the paint is missing off of the back, the paint on the bottle. This obviously is a knockoff of Sauvage. Um, actually, let me just grab Sauvage really quickly. And I'm back. So here is Dior Sauvage. This is a real bottle of Dior Sauvage, 100 milliliter size, same size as this one. And here is Wilderness Man. So you can see obvious similarities here. Now it's extremely, extremely obvious in person and I'll try to get some close-ups, but the Dior Sauvage bottle is just infinitely higher quality. Like when you look at these two side by side, you know immediately which one is the knockoff, which pretty obvious, but still. Uh, the cap clicks into place, not magnetic like the Dior Sauvage, though I was not expecting a magnetic cap. And uh, yeah, here we go, there's the atomizer. Now I've got five fragrances to check out here today. I'm not gonna be spraying them all on my skin and frankly, I don't really want to. So I'm gonna be using these tester strips. Let's go ahead and check out Wilderness Man and see how this one smells. The atomizer is actually pretty good, at least in terms of the distribution. It feels pretty smooth. Now one thing I will say is I don't trust this to not leak over time. This looks like uh, it's not really securely fastened, the, uh, the collar and the atomizer. So I think that over time, this would probably leak out from underneath and then you know come down over the bottle. And if that happens a lot, it can peel the, uh, the finish off the bottle even more. It does smell cheap. I mean, that's not really a surprise, I guess. Um, really synthetic, kind of like a berry sweetness, like a, a synthetic berry. It almost smells like uh, Cuba, the Cuba fragrances that look like cigars. Uh, a little bit like Cuba, I think it's Cuba, either red or orange. I have no clue what the notes are here. I don't even think it really has notes. But yeah, this smells basically like uh, a cheap, synthetic kind of berry fragrance. It does not smell like Dior Sauvage at all. It's kind of a, kind of a mess. Really simple, cheap. All right, let's grab another one. We'll go with this one as an actual bubble mailer. Oh God, the bubble mailer smells horrible. Oh man, that is rank. It's got like a really, really strong sour chemical smell coming out of the, the bag. Uh, not the fragrance, I don't think it's leaked or anything, it's just the bag, it, it reeks. Okay, the, the fragrance, this, oh my God. The box smells bad. This box has that chemical smell from the bag. It's on the box, it's actually probably from the box and it just permeated into the bag. So this is a very, very obvious knockoff of Azaro Wanted. So this is the Azaro Wanted that we purchased from Wish. And um, this has a sleeve, this box sleeve. And um, most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, when you see a fragrance for sale, for example, on uh, eBay or something like that, and it comes with the sleeve, that means it's fake, especially if it looks like this one, because this is this is piss poor quality. Um, I'm gonna try to get a close up of this so you can see what I'm talking about. But the resolution on this sleeve is terrible, and it's immediately immediately obvious that this is a knockoff. So here it is. Hopefully you can see how obvious this is. This is uh, very fake. And here is the back. It's really pixelated. The print quality here is very poor. And like I said, the box reeks. Okay, and here is the actual box of the fragrance of this Azaro Wanted knockoff. Now, this box actually looks much better, much closer to the real thing 
than that sleeve does. And that doesn't make a lot of sense because this is an obvious fake. They should have just not even messed with the sleeve if you're gonna sell a fake and try to push it off as the real thing and just gone with this. Okay, so here's my real bottle of Azara Wanted. And also just, um, I guess for scientific purposes, let me give you a really good close up of this box before I open it up so you can see what it looks like with the uh, cellophane still folded. So here's the front, here is the side, here is the back, and the other side. The top, and the bottom. So like I said, they actually did a good job on this uh, on this box. It's, uh, it's a knockoff, but it's a pretty good knockoff, at least from the outside. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Not bad. I mean, the box even has a different textured feel. It's a little textured here, and then slick on the bottom with the gold. So as far as knockoffs go, again, this one looks pretty good. And here we have the fragrance. And immediately holding this in my hand, absolutely 1000% this is fake. This is a knockoff, zero doubt in my mind. Also coloration difference is pretty obvious there. So this is the legit bottle, this is the fake. Uh, there's a, a definite difference between the way that the plastic looks here at the top. This one much shinier and cheaper looking to be honest. This one a bit thicker, has more of a, uh, I guess a, a matte looking finish. Uh, not exactly Matt, not sure how to describe that right now, I'm blanking. And then the bullets here on the top, which I'll show you up close here in a moment, these have kind of a weathered look to them on the legit one. These are just kind of shiny looking and they lack the detail that you'll find on the, uh, the legit one. Same thing with the Azaro um, kind of cap here. This one, the fake, feels much flimsier, cheaper in your hand. Uh, it feels like if I put pressure here when I squeeze this, on the, the top part that it would crack uh, if I squeezed it really hard. There's a difference on the bottom and the stickers in the font, which I'll show you here in just a second. Uh, we'll go through all of that, but let me just bring these up closely so you can see what I'm talking about, and then I'll give this one a smell. So this is the real one, this is the fake. You can see there clearly the difference in how these look. Again, on the top, take a look at that. Very, very obvious. The coloration difference. The stickers here on the bottom, hopefully you can make that out. This is the fake. Notice the gap in the lettering down here. Hopefully you can make that out. There is a, a gap here and over here as well. Or a space in the lettering where there shouldn't be. Enormous difference in the atomizers here. Check this out. Real one, fake one. And this one is already leaking. Like the last one I talked about with shoddy craftsmanship, you'll have leakage with these bottles where the the fragrance kind of seeps out underneath the collar. I took the cap off, I have not sprayed this one yet. You can already see that it's leaking right there around the uh, the collar here. Moment of truth for this obvious knockoff is Zara wanted. Let's see how it smells. The atomizer on this one doesn't feel very good. It's kind of uh, grindy when you press it down. And one thing that I'm noticing with both of these fragrances, they are not very strong. So this one is Wilderness Man and you can barely pick it up. And I sprayed it on, what, 10 minutes ago? I sprayed on this Azara Wanted knockoff, and that cap, I love how it, it makes that pop noise every time that you take it off. Um, you can't pick it up that well. Obvious knockoff is obvious. This is completely nondescript. It's 1,000% it's forgettable. It has no projection whatsoever off of this tester strip. I can't imagine off skin it's any better, and honestly, I wouldn't want to spray it on my skin anyway because I have no clue what's in there. It has the faintest, almost like a watermelon note, like a salted watermelon sort of note is the easiest way that I could describe it. There's a little bit of maybe some greenery underneath that, like some green notes, but again, this smells cheap. This is, it's, it's pretty trashy. All right, let's hope for something better on the next one. Okay, I don't remember ordering this one, but maybe I did. We're gonna check it out. This is Kook, Madem <laughs> Kook Mademoiselle by Chenal Parfum. There it is, Kook Mademoiselle by Chenal. The quality is out of control. Oh, this should be apparent to anyone that buys this that this is a knockoff 
this is not real Chanel, so I'm not gonna go over the whole wrapping of anything. Let's just get into this one. I'm pretty sure I didn't buy this. So yeah, this bottle looks like crap. This is, this is really cheap. This one looks like the cheapest one so far. I guess I'll check out how it smells. Honestly, it probably smells better than the last two, even though it looks so cheap. This is, uh, this is a woman's fragrance, obviously. Uh, as far as what we're dealing with here, it smells okay. It's got kind of a chocolatey patchouli and um, dark floral feel to it. That might end up being the best one that we get, which is pretty sad. Is the presentation super cheap? Yes, it is. Does it look like something that would cost you maybe $3? Yes, it does. The fragrance itself, not terrible. All right, let's see what else we've got. Oh boy, Creed Aventus. Yeah, so obviously this is 1000% fake. You can tell immediately, like I said before, with this slip cover, Creed fragrances do not come with these. If you see this, that means you've got a fake and it's very obvious. If you saw this and you thought this was real, then I feel really bad for you. Check this out. You've got Napoleon here on the front and it is washed out and super pixelated. It looks horrible. Then on the back, some random picture of this guy and his lady friend. Oh, Creed Aventus. This looks terrible. Let's open this up and see how this is. So the box here is pretty crappy in terms of quality. Feels a little bit sticky, it's all scuffed up, doesn't look very good. Uh, the Creed logo here is actually almost scuffed off right there. Instead of being raised from the box, it's just flat and smushed. Let's see what batch this is. Oh, it's 15X01. Cool, I got a 2015 batch. Oh, except for that it's fake. So real Creed fragrances do come with these and so do the fakes. So. Here is a close-up for you. If you buy an authentic Creed fragrance, it will have this. It'll be higher quality, but it, it'll have this, the same as this fake. I mean, this looks really bad. You can see ink bleeding all over this thing. Um, it's got a, it smells like pepper. It smells like cracked black pepper. How strange. Yeah, as you saw in the close-up there, it's really poor quality printing. And then you will get these, <laughs> Okay, you'll get these in Creed fragrances as well. This one is an obvious fake. It's written in all Arabic. Um, depending on where you get your fragrance from, and this is going a little bit too in detail, but uh, from discounters, you'll sometimes get a, a fragrance from Creed that was meant for the Middle Eastern market. So you might have something written in Arabic, but it won't look like this. This is an obvious fake. Uh, I'll show it to you here. Just randomly placed in there. And here we have the bottle, wow. And I guess this could be useful to some people, so I'll show close-ups of the box really quickly. Um, if this helps somebody out there, cool. But this is, if, if you hold this in your hands, it should be very obvious that it's fake. So this is underneath the top flap. Here's the top of the box. Here's the front of the box. The side. Back. And there is the bottom. Now holding this in my hands, I can tell you immediately that this is a fake. So the cap is extremely obviously fake. This is the real, this is the fake. The real one has a metallic plaque here at the top. The fake one is plastic. The cap does not click into place here, which it should on this type bottle. You just kind of have to mush it and then hope that it stays. It's really poor quality. So here is the bottle, Creed Aventus. There's your back and your bottom. Gotta tell you, it's not the worst fake I've ever seen in my life. One thing I especially like here is they put Creed on the top of the atomizer and it's crooked. <laughs> so here's the atomizer, it's facing forward right now. So right in the middle of the bottle. Now check out how Creed is across the top of this atomizer. That's how crooked it is. So you can see how crooked right there and the atomizer is pointing forward. That, my friends, is crap quality. All right, now let's take this off and see how the underneath looks. So with Creed fragrances, a lot of times you wanna look for a white washer underneath the atomizer. So here is an older batch. You'll see it has a white washer there. Here is a batch from 15. You'll see there is a little black washer. Now here is the fake. There's no washer, it's just metal and it looks super cheap. 
There is your fake. All right, so we've taken a look at this one. It's an obvious fake again. Uh, let's see how it smells. So this one should smell like a Ventus, but the Azara Wanted did not smell like Azara Wanted really, so let's see how close this one is. It is not close at all. <laughs> wow. All righty. That is strange. That is really odd. I don't know what to say about that. I don't even know what that smells like. My nose is itching. Like something in that is making my nose like just tingle. What in the hell? I'm gonna take one for the team and spray this on skin and see if it smells different. Here we go. Ooh, that does not smell good. Okay, so there's this really funky, weird kind of um, like abomination of pineapple, I guess, is what they're, they're trying to make it like the pineapple opening in Aventus, but it is screwed in the head. It is not right. There's this weird peppery thing going on with it which is probably what's making my nose kind of itch. This, this is not a Ventus, guys. No, no sir. <laughs> I have actually seen a couple people in comments on Facebook groups and stuff say, oh, I, I, I got that fake Ventus, it smells close, can't tell the difference. I am sorry, my friend, if, if you say that, either you're lying to yourself and you've lied enough and you believe it, your nose is broken, or you've never actually smelled a Ventus. This is some garbage, my friends. This is trash. It's a very kind of peppery, wannabe birch. No real smoke or anything like that. It smells ultra synthetic, which is not a surprise. And then it has this funky lemon thing going on. Yeah, it's like a weird lemon. It's like the opening of Club de Nuit Intense Man, but much worse. So yeah, don't buy this. This is stupid. I mean, you might be able to fool somebody, and they'll they'll see it from afar and be like, oh, you got you got the creed, but you're better off with Club Dinui Intense Man by our moth. Don't buy this. This is probably poison. I probably just sprayed poison on my arm, and now it's going to rot and fall off. All right, last one. Oh God, it has that weird bag smell again. Oh God, horrible. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We've got Salvace. Salvace. Eau de Parfum. So this is some of the shoddiest cellophane wrapping I've ever seen in my life. This is horrible looking. Look at that, look at that, wow. It's just loose and like all wrinkled up and jacked looking. So uh, let me show this to you up close. It, it looks like trash. Here's the box, Salvez. Wow, quality, very high quality and there you go. The inside has like um, ink, it looks like, that's linked, leaked all over the uh, the box, if you can see that. Oh God, it reeks. Oh, super strong, nasty, nasty chemical smell. Really, 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 really smells bad. Salvace. Sauvage. I will say that this bottle well, it looks a lot nicer than the Wilderness Man bottle. It's not all scuffed up. It doesn't have paint chips knocked out of it. Uh, the bottom looks nicer. It's got like a little a little concave dip there, which makes it look a little more appealing to the eye. See that? It looks, it looks clean. Yeah, let's just check this one out. The Atomizer looks pretty much the same as the one on Wilderness Man. It's got the same collar style, so again, it does have that really cheap, flimsy look to it that I fear would lead to a lot of leaking. Actually, this atomizer really sucks. Uh, it does a tiny puff of fragrance and it's got a grindy feel when you press down, so that's, uh, that's not good. Okay, so as far as clones go, this one smells closer to Sauvage than any of the fragrances that I've smelled before. I've smelled like uh, what they were trying to copy. I mean, off paper? That's not a terrible Sauvage clone. Sauvace. Yeah, you do you, Sauvace. I'll try it on skin. Oh, oh wait. Wait a second here, boys. It, it doesn't smell as good off skin. It doesn't smell as good off skin. Yeah, yeah, not as good. Oh well. It's got um, a little bit of a sour kind of thing going on off skin, and it's really weak, kind of like these other ones projection really really poor on these you'd probably have to hit yourself with like 20 sprays to get any kind of performance from these yeah i mean i hit myself with three just now and uh it's it's already yeah it, it sucks all right guys 
that's it. Um, Wish.com fragrances. So it was fun. I gotta say that, but these suck. Was I expecting them to be good? No, I was not. So I was not surprised at least. Okay, the best of the bunch. This one, <laughs> Kook Mademoiselle. This is the only one that actually had any semblance of performance. Uh, all these other ones die out like that. They die out quick. Uh, they also smell cheap, super synthetic, and believe it or not, this one with the terrible bottle is the one that uh, actually smells the most like a real fragrance. If you've purchased anything from wish.com, let me know how that went. And um, let me know how much you regret it. If you had fun with this video, let me know and I'll do another one. We'll buy some more stuff from wish.com or another fun website where we can, ooh, almost got you, where we can uh, check out some of these great fragrances. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't buy the fake Aventus, it's a lie. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys again next time with some more fragrance-related content. Thanks, guys.